to the Nora in Scott County today. We'll tell you why when we return. Dancers are there for the Summer Clogging Spectacular. News Center 5 videographer Larry Long brings us a look. Clogging has become, it's always been a tradition that's known throughout the South but just in the last couple of years, it's become very popular. And I think my own opinion is that it has become an activity that the entire family can do and enjoy together. <laughs> it's a lot more fun to be able to go out and perform rather than having the competition side of it. So this is just a festival or a jamboree where the teams can get together and just uh, have a good time, enjoy the fellowship of their other cloggers. There are several different styles. We're seeing some mountain styles, some Appalachian, some traditional, and you will also see the new modern buck dancing also, which is a little bit faster and a little bit fancier. We get the adults, the, the parents involved, uh, I've got a lot of family members on my team where mom, dad, the kids, the kids, my, my father clogs, my mother clogs. So it's something that the whole family can get involved with.
clogging so popular. It's very good exercise and it's also an activity that everyone can enjoy.
brought back from Kentucky. And we've also been to South Carolina. So we do do a great deal of traveling. We also do a lot of uh, things local. If you're not familiar with the area, Abington is right on the Tennessee and the Tennessee border. It's about an hour and 45 minute drive. So it's not that far from here. These ladies and gentlemen uh, on the front row, we have Elizabeth, who is my sister and my assistant.
brother May, April, and Rick. Now we're going to show you just a short part of our team. We have about 70 some members all together and they couldn't all be with us today. But we're going to show you some juniors, some teenagers, and some adults. We're going to start this off with Restless. Wendy and Laura and we've got a little one Heather and her little sister Amy on the back row we have Michelle, Tara, Leah and Leslie they're part of my junior group they're going to do a routine for you called right now
the safest somewhere to go, let's go. Now when you put your love arms around me, for a very short period of time. She just got through my beginners and my intermediate class over at the YWCA and I have had several people that have stopped me today and wanted to know where they can check into about clogging. And I do teach right across the street here at YWCA. We start them at age four. Now Amy just turned five years old. So she's doing an excellent job. She's been going around and performing with us. So if you are interested in clogging, uh, feel free to either speak with me or you can call the YWCA. And I also teach with Prevet School of Dance, which is in Johnson City. And we do have a lot of dance schools around, and they are all wonderful. So if you are interested in taking up clogging, feel free to call one of those locations. At this time, I'd like to bring your adults back up. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> in the Autumn Chase because we were at Nashville at that particular time. So we're proud and happy that we could be here to perform for you today. Uh
thank you very much for Southern Tradition Express Carson. I'm the instructor and choreographer for Southern Tradition Express Cloggers and the Blue Ridge Mountain Cloggers. I'm from Abingdon, Virginia. The team's from East Tennessee, Southwest Virginia, and from the state of North Carolina. We're going to start this one off with TV breakdown. We must have some North Carolina folks out in there. Good. Okay, we're going to start this one off. It's called TV breakdown.
you a little bit about the two teams. Now, we've been very busy this summer traveling throughout Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia, Kentucky, South Carolina. We also do a lot of performing at major theme parks such as Dollywood and Kings Dominion, which is located up next to Washington, D.C. And for the last two months, we've been spending a lot of time performing as Tweetsie Railroad entertainers over at the popular theme park, Tweetsie Railroad. And we are going to be going back there again tomorrow. Like I said, we've spent just about the last two months over there, but it's a lot of fun. We're going to bring these juniors back up, and they're going to do one for you called Rockin' to the Rhythm of the Rain.
Smile, Tara.
said, where to, mister? I said, that's all right with me, cause I'm restless. Up at the YWCA in Bristol, 
On Thursday nights, we've got a new beginner's class starting the 1st of May. She teaches in Mountain City, Tennessee on Monday night. We have a new class starting there this month. She also teaches at the Prevet Studio in Johnson City. But we're real proud of Amy. Let's give Amy a hand. She's our
team number seven, seventh edition Express.
Tradition Express in the show category, Young Adult.